Hello Cyberland, my name's Marlon, and this channel is Old Fart Hacks. What I was going to be doing today was a review of how well these OXA tool post holders work on the Chinese, this happens to be a 7 by 14 mini lathe. This one comes from, or was trademarked Velwar, which is eh, not bad people. They've got their problems, but they're not all that bad. Anyway, I had already pulled the old tool post that it came with. You've all seen this thing. Love the way the uh, tools that Belvoir supplies kind of uh, overhang a bit, but you know, it's a standard tool post. They're okay. But I wanted the, the Allura style one and the correct style or the correct size for a Chinese mini lathe is, uh, this is the OAX. OXA? OXA. It's already to be, no, it's OXA anyway. So, as you can see, I have it all nice and mounted up. This is a 15 millimeter bolt here you tighten up to lock it down and so on. You know, normal stuff. And I went to put the first tool holder on it. And mind you, the way you lock these is you bring it around over to here to lock it. So this is as far unlocked as it goes. Notice there's a small problem. The tool holder will not go on to the post. In fact, there's, if you look right here, there's quite a bit of a gap. Um, so I said, okay, well, is it this just this tool holder? And mind you, this one has some rather interesting machining areas anyway on it. Um, I didn't bring my pointer with me, silly me. If you look right here, you notice the uneven grinds and how there's a... I don't know if you can clearly see it on camera or not. There's a bit of a taper there. And it's a little more pronounced on this side over here. In other words, the tool post is not ground correctly, but still that's, I said, okay, it maybe just be that one tool holder. So I went and got the next one. This came, this set, by the way, comes with five um, holders, three regular, well, two regular ones for your turning and facing bars, a uh, one for a boring bar, a one for a and the boring bar also, by the way, has... No, it's not that. Anyway, one for a boring bar, one for a cutoff tool, and then a um, knurling tool that also has a place to mount uh, facing tools. So anyway, I said, okay, well, it may have just been that cutter or that holder. So I went and got the next one out of the set. And this one almost goes on. It starts to go on. At least it'll, you know, it'll hang up there, but it doesn't fit. You know, no bueno. I, I'm not happy here. So I said, well, okay, let me try another one. So I went and got, oh, by the way, these also, although to show you this correctly, I have to take the little handle off here. Put that over here on the side where it can fall off on the floor a little later. We can turn this by hand far enough. These also do not fit on the boring bar side of this holder. This of the two, well, actually, this the number two will fit on the boring bar side, but it won't fit on the uh, turning and uh, facing side. So anyway, I went and got the boring bar holder, and same issue. Doesn't even begin to start. And when I try and put it on the boring bar side. It kind of gets on there, but kind of not. So that's three out of the five that haven't worked. So now we come down to the cutoff tool holder. And again, notice the action here. We're making that all the way up. The cutoff tool holder does not fit there. And it sort of almost kind of gets to going on the boring bar side, but again, not really. That leaves us down to the last one, which is the knurling tool, which, eh, you know, it's basic. I'll make a better one. Uh, Quinn, Quinn Ducky. Ducky, I think is her last name. Anyway, uh, she has a channel, Blondie Hack. She's got a really nice program process on that. Also, so does, um, oh, what's his name? Anyway, there's a couple of good people out there for that. Again, this holder will not go on. In either position, well, again, okay, the boring bar or the uh, 
that one will basically just go on but mind you the nut is there that should be around over to about here by now the tool post is incorrect in other words the problem is in the tool post and it is totally in the tool post and i think it really comes down to just how they didn't properly machine it um notice again again it's kind of hard to pick up perhaps on the camera but notice you have a area here where the grind goes all the way up and yet down here toward the bottom you can see a very solid black field. This isn't ground in far enough, and it's ground on an angle. Poor quality control. So, again, this is Chinese. Yeah, you expect it. And that brings, us to, brings me to my complaint. The company I got this from was WF, w, uh, WF Express, which is W-F-X-P-R-E-S-S. And when I contacted them about it, they said, well, tell you what, can you fix it and we'll uh, give you a, a partial refund? And I'm going, yeah, right. I'm sending it back to them. They, they did agree to take it back and they'll give me a full refund, I'm sure, but it's going to take weeks. I'm just not happy with their quality that they allow that poor quality to uh, come about. So anyway, the uh, upshot is when you buy one of these things, first thing you do is take it out of the box Check it, look at the quality, and make sure everything is right on it. Because this one isn't. And I'm not happy. And I'm, I grant you, I'm an old fart. I'm cranky. I, you know, I wanted to play over here and make this into a lovely little bushing for a project for my uh, navigator. I've got running boards I need bushings on, and I was going to make new bushings. And found a really great technique for that. I may even put links to that. In the, you know, I'll put that on a different video. But anyway, that is... All I have to tell you today, so be careful. In this case, you know, I'm disappointed. I put a hundred buck over a hundred bucks out, and I have a lump. Oh, and the other fun thing about this, just as a small, you know, inconse inconsequential, uh, try and say that fast three times in a row, gripe, is even the bolt that they gave me is bent. What I think this company does, from what I see is they buy the seconds you know it's the company these all come from the same company in japan or in china i think or there may be three or four but anyway i don't think this was their top of the line this company gets you know they sell a couple of three of these they sell auto parts they sell pizzas they sell everything and you know they're buying in small lots and seeing what they can sell to people and so the vendors are giving them less than perfect quality components it's just yeah i could fix this i could come in and rework this dovetail right here and make it work it'd be a matter of careful but i don't have a, a mill either so i can't easily do that it's just no i've actually already gone ahead and bought another one from another vendor we'll see if i get any better luck there but that's all i've got for you today guys i hope guys gals whatever you know that's the other trouble being an old part. You just don't know how to address people anymore. I have no disrespect for anybody, by the way. I, it's all up to you. But, so children, what can I say? Be careful what you buy. Again, this is Marlon from the Old Parts Channel. Parting around, being upset, irked, saying, I hope you all have a lovely day. And don't get caught, because it's all good until you get caught. These people, by the way, got caught. Bye-bye.